No, it would not, Stephen. For several months, we've tried to speak with the city of Pelham about the future here at this venue. However, city leaders are staying quiet. Now, previously, they called negotiations to open an amphitheater in Birmingham surprising, also pointing out their ongoing commitment to Oak Mountain Amphitheater and improving the infrastructure around it. The future of outdoor music entertainment may no longer be in Shelby County. The Oak Mountain Amphitheater would be closed in favor of Live Nation moving concerts to downtown Birmingham. That possibility becoming more real today with Birmingham City Council members pledging $5 million to the project. Right now, six different partnerships are involved. You know, everyone's important um, and, and, and if at any phase, any of those parties, that commitment doesn't you know, come to fruition, you know, then we have to step back and think, is there a different way to do it? Back in October, some council members were hesitant, so we asked the mayor how they got to this point to pass it unanimously. I think this council held my feet to the fire of walking and chewing gum at the same time that if we're going to make this type of investment, I mean that we need to make investments across the city, um, citywide. Mayor Randall Woodfin pointing out that this is just one of several projects across the city approved Tuesday morning. With the 80 plus million dollar surplus, a uh, majority of this money is actually spent in communities, in neighborhoods towards revitalization. Now it's up to Jefferson County commissioners to decide once and for all if they too believe investing in this project is a good use of taxpayer dollars. I feel excited. Uh, I am very confident that this will take place. Commission President Jimmy Stevens says he expects the item to come up for a vote in the next meeting or two. Without doing a pre-vote, you know, it, will has, it has to be negotiated and uh, uh, deliberated in, a, in an open meeting, but I have had no one to, in conversation with me say that they were not for the project. And once the funding is secured, construction can begin. Hopefully there's a there's an opportunity to have an amphitheater season somewhere in 2020.